Welcome back to another review. These are my Nicole Miller wrist weights. I've used them for over three years, almost every single day. I use them to add resistance during aerobic workouts. They're great for toning and building lean muscles. In today's review, you're going to find unique features of the Nicole Miller wrist weights, my likes and dislikes after three years of use, and five exercise demos using these wrist weights. The weights are made with a comfortable, no slip material so they don't slide around when you're exercising and sweaty. They also have tough stitching, so they don't break easily. They have tough and large Velcro straps to help them stay put when you exercise. Their most unique feature is the thumb loop. Just put your thumb through the peephole, wrap the rest around your wrist, secure with Velcro, and you're ready to go. This feature helps the weights stay put. It's also a major like. Other likes include they're very comfortable and their quality. I do have one minor dislike. They do slip, however, not as badly as others. So how do you use them? Here are five exercises that you can do with these weights. First one is called lateral raises and around the world. This is a combination move. Start with your feet shoulder width apart and your palms facing each other. Raise both arms out and up and stop slightly above shoulder height. Now lower arms to starting position. And now raise them all the way up until they touch above your head. Next, another combo called squat and frontal raise. Starting position, your feet are slightly wider than shoulder width apart. As you squat down, lift your arms up in front of you and stop slightly above shoulder height. Repeat this combo 10 times. The next combination is called around the world with hip abductors. Start with your feet narrower than shoulder width apart and your arms down on each side. Lift your arms up all the way to the top of your head. Stop when your fingers touch. At the same time, lift your leg up. Jabs are great with wrist weights. These moves are called cross body jabs. Start with your feet planted sturdily on the ground. Twist your torso and throw a jab right across. Repeat the move 20 times. Make sure that you extend your arm as much as possible and bring it back quickly. Last but not least, arm pulses. They're very easy to do. Start with both arms out at shoulder height, your palms facing up. Pulse up and down in quick and short bursts. You can stop till fatigue. That means repeating until you can't do it anymore. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.